Hi everyone, um, my name is Leon Nikisamaitak. I'm an illustrator and animator from London. Today I'm going to take you through how to take your sketches from your sketchbook through to Artivive so you can create some really nice augmented reality experiences. Um, I'm quite new to Artivive so we're going to be doing this together. Um, what I'd like to do is take one of my sketches um, that I did in South America and we're going to take it apart in Photoshop, then bring it into After Effects and we're going to do some animation and then we're going to bring it into Artivive and pull it um, about so it's going to be in different perspectives. Um, we're going to use their 3D Pro version. Um, that You can get a basic version and then you can get a 3D Pro version where you have the ability to kind of create different um, video layers and then pull them apart so they're on different depths and then you can create some really nice um, augmented reality experiences. Uh, the illustration that I'm going to do is of this lovely toucan which I did in Iguazu National Park in Brazil. Uh, so what I quite like to do is cut out this bit here, have that as one layer, and then maybe have like a few others, uh, perhaps this little guy here and this toucan at the back. And then I'm going to layer this up with um, static PNGs and then have, I think you can do six images and three videos. So all together it's going to create like a really nice layered effect. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do is take it first into Photoshop, then into After Effects and then eventually into Artivive. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, let's head over to Artivive and get cracking. Okay, so first of all, what you need to do is once you're in Bridge, which is Artivive's augmented reality program, you need to add a name. So I'm going to call mine Toucan Scene. And then I'm going to add this guy. And then I'm going to add here an image. So Jungle Toucan. Let's pop that in there. I'm going to use the 3D Pro and there you can see the image. If I zoom in a bit, that's what you're going to see when you point your camera to it. Okay, so now I've got this image in here. Now I'm going to add a video. So I go here, I click on my video. I want the first toucan to be here. It's popped in. I'm going to click transparency. I'm going to click here, click the color, press OK, and he's in there. Can you see him? He's a little bit small, so we're going to make him a little bit bigger. If you come down here to the scale, you can just press that, like I've given it two. And then if we hold down one, then, and go to the front. If you press down one and then you move it around, you can rotate it so you can see what you're looking at. Okay, I'm gonna just move that little toucan guy slightly down and to the right. He's perfect there. Okay, now I'm gonna add another video. This time I'm gonna select the ground with that little animal. And I'm gonna go down to the scale again, make it slightly bigger, two, two, two. And we're gonna click transparency again. We're gonna get rid of that purple. There you go. Okay, so if I press one, You've got to be careful not to select the actual videos when you're rotating it. But yeah, so that looks nice. Maybe we can move him up a little bit again, just so he's sort of in line with the, the main graphic behind. Okay, let's close that. Let's add another video, last video, which will be the, the big toucan up at the front. So he is going to be expanded a little bit like we did before. And then we're going to select the transparency, get rid of that, rotate around a little bit and just move that main toucan slight, slightly forward. 
Uh, yeah, I think I might move him out a little bit more than that, just so that when we look at him, this little guy here is visible as well. So he's going to be looking up at this token up here. Okay, close this one. Okay, so you're only allowed three videos at a time, but to create the scene, you can add some images, and I've created some alpha PNG PNGs that we're going to add and pepper over the scene. So, first of all, I am going to add some leaves. So, I quite like the, those ones to be somewhere around here. Again, I'm going to make them bigger slightly. And then I'm just going to move him. If we deselect that, rotate him around just so he's kind of around there. He's, yeah, he's nice. A little parrot guy. Um, these parrots were very, very colourful in Brazil. Brazil's an amazing place for wildlife especially in the Amazon. Okay. All right, so next one we are gonna add is the leaves on the right. Now with this, I, what I wanted to do was block out the beginning part of, that, of the branch. So if we just look at it from the front a little bit, bring that down, and I'm really gonna try and align this just Yeah, I just want to hide that like first bit so it looks as if it's like that little um, branch there. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's looking really good. Okay, and if we just press play, you'll hear what it will sound like and how it will be animated. So yeah, I think it's looking pretty good. Let's go back here. I just want to move that leaf there to the right a little bit so it hides it. And then what you want to do is come down to the bottom here. And if I just push that up a little bit. So yeah, if we just uh, hit save, and then it will save all your artwork. So now you're done. Now all you need to do is download the Artivive app on your Android or Apple phone or your tablet, whatever you like. And then download the image that needs to be recognized. You can either print this out or have it on your desktop or another phone or another device. And then point the camera using the, like the camera in the app to the image and your augmented reality will come to life. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial.